welcome back to my youtube channel today i have my natural hair out and this is kind of rare like recently i'm always in wigs i'm always in braids so i thought i'd show you some easy hairstyles some cute hairstyles for short curly hair maybe weirdly enough now i know this is strange but it's true i like first became popular because i did my hair nicely i used to have really long blonde hair and bitch, I was the best edges in Northwest. Are you dumb? My edges were on swim. Like, now I have none. But I used to be sick at doing hair. And then as I kind of grew up, I started just getting my hair done. So I'm not that good at doing my own hair anymore. Like, now when I kind of want to do slick hairstyles, like, I just can't be asked. But I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> First, I'm going to show you how I get, like, my little cute afro and what products i use i've just come out of the shower i have no products in my hair i did my makeup first so my hair is like a little dry now so i'm just gonna quickly wet this again i would use a spray bottle but i don't have that but i just got a lot of new hair products so let me like show you everything as well so i'm actually trying to grow my hair and i saw this tiktok and this girl had really long hair and this is everything she used so she used amla oil this i use actually regularly and it really works so i just got some more of that she says she uses this heat protectant spray it's called chi and yeah she just said like never use heat on your hair da -da 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 -da. and then this i think i got too big of a little bot but it's indian hemp and apparently you just rub this on like your scalp and apparently your hair grows super fast what i've been using just myself is just black castor oil and this wild growth oil. All this stuff is brought from Amazon. When it comes to doing my natural hair, I always like my hair to be as like wet as it can be. Obviously not drenched, but as wet as it can be because if it's not, it tends to get quite frizzy in that. Since my last hair tutorial, I've changed my curl routine quite a bit. I've realized that less is more. I only use these two products. This is Camille Rose Fresh Curl Hair Smoothie and this is Deva Curl. Deva Curl is my fucking favourite but you can see this was £25 y'all and like if it was up to me I would have all Deva Curl but one they don't sell it in the UK for some reason and two it's expensive as fuck. So this one thing was the best we're gonna do. Right now I'm gonna basically imitate what my hairdressers did to me when I got my hair cut in New York because my hair was so fucking cute. And step one, they told me that the products I was using was really weighing down my hair. So that was stopping it from becoming like a cute little afro. And that's all we want. Like least product and light product because you want your hair to be volumized. My hair was cut in a way where I have a fringe and then the back kind of comes out. So when styling my hair, I'm going to like separate the fringe from the rest of the hair like this you can see it's kind of like a hairband parting but this is my cute little fringe i'm just brushing it with a brush like this i don't know like bro like i'm capping like my brush has been melted by a straightener you should use one of those brushes that are like good for curly hair like this does the fucking job i'm gonna start off with the tiniest little bit of this this is like a pudding and it's kind of gonna moisturize the hair it's got avocado and castor oil in it so guys let's have like a little life catch up um i've just been working i'm really focused on kind of saving a certain target before the end of the year so i've definitely just been working pretty hard on that i literally have no days of work like i have three jobs if you count social media which i do now because i'm actually getting paid off it but I have the social media thing and then I have my like almost like nine to five vibes and I have my weekend job and guys like I'm actually some busy motherfucker like I, I just be trying to find love and shit and I can't even find love when I can't even find the time to go on a date it's all for something you know I just want to have the most banging 18th birthday ever guys oh my god did you see like I um, I woke up fucking story time how I woke up to being cancelled. Yeah, we want to talk about that. Let's fucking talk about it. Can we talk about how you guys cancelled me? How can I wake up? I went to bed so 
early yeah i went to bed bare early i was bare depressed so i like bare meditated i went to bed at 8 30 because i was just like bare happy within myself i was like well done libby i wake up check my phone just checking my phone and i see death threats on every piece of social media i have i'm thinking uh-uh what the fuck i didn't even realize like i didn't even know what was happening until like about three hours into the day and i was getting back messages like oh apologize miss our fabulous baited you out apologize i'm thinking what the fuck did i do now but yeah see how i just ran that all through my hair i was like what the fuck did i do now fuck's sake bro i found out basically someone sent me the live video basically like some fake account miss our fabulous like prank calls people in some fake account sent me and said that i i set up my ex's baby mom and baby my ex don't have a baby mom as long as i'm aware like my ex like can't get any other girls but like that's like the point is that it was completely fucking false right and i was getting fucking i almost got fucking cancelled and like i can't believe people actually believe that so I had to come on here and set things straight. I was like, mate, I'm 17 first off. Ain't no one in my life having babies. And I was just like, you guys need to chill because like, even if that was true, which it's not, and it's like, you knew it wasn't. Oh, like you can't, oh, oh. I got fucking cancelled for like a day and it was hell. But yeah, I'm just taking a little bit of this and literally just running my fingers through. Bro, and obviously I fixed it because I'm fucking Libby. I just had to... You know what I realise about social media and why people like me? Because I'm fucking real. Do you know how hard it is to be fucking real on social media? Like, bro, I got cancelled because of fucking bullshit. Do you know how much bullshit is fake in social media? When I was in the news, oh, she's 22, she's dating Bobby. Bro, I, neither was true. Do you know what I mean? Fake news, fake life. People just love to lie. Because real life isn't entertaining enough for them. So now... That my hair's like this i'm gonna let it air dry for uh, about 10 minutes and then when that's air dried we're gonna go in with the diffuser i will show you how to do that now okay y'all so my hair's air dried a little bit and this is a tip this is really what gives me the cute little afro so i get bobby pins in the hair salon they use like actual clips i should probably get some actual clips but they use like bobby pins and i use bobby pins and i just like get my hair like where it's like longer and I like pin it so it's shorter to make like invisible layers because my hair grows pretty quickly and the first time I cut it like my hair will be short and it kind of just all goes out but the second it grows it goes down instead of out so I just use bobby pins and literally pin my hair where I want it to be and then when I diffuse it it kind of sticks in that place it kind of stays the same shape as this I use this babyless babyless baby list hair dryer diffuser speed pro it's shit like i'm not gonna lie like i got for a christmas present when i was like in year six <laughs> but now i'm gonna use the highest heat and i use this logic because it's like when you straighten your hair you use heat to keep it in that place so like with this when you're using the heat it's like heating your curls to kind of stay in place i'm gonna use full power full heat and i just go in sections go up keep it there for like maybe 30 seconds kind of go around the roots and then do the whole bit in like five six sections for the fringe i kind of just face plant it okay so i've just removed all the pins now and now i can like kind of fluff my hair obviously the more you fluff it you lose more definition in the curls but the more you fluff it you get more volume so you kind of have to pick which one you want i like volume i even use this and literally just plump it up and it gives it a lot more volume and yeah y'all that is my first hairstyle this is my hair out obviously i didn't need to get like a haircut but the pins and the diffuser really help if you have like hair that is more flat 
also if your hair's more flat i recommend using less product and yeah that's it i will see you guys in the next hairstyle hey y'all my hair is looking a little bit ass so i'm gonna show you my next hairstyle so first we have two buns two buns is the hardest so let's get into it so the first thing i do is just get a comb and part the hair all the way down the middle and then i'm just gonna tie up one side so it doesn't get in our way so i always use like super thick hair bands like this and i'm just gonna do that and then i'm gonna put some water around like here so it's just easier to slick i'm not gonna brush out my hair completely because then it will get rid of like my cute little curls and the curls really they really make a hairstyle so we're not gonna brush them out so this is what we're going for i'm gonna now just wet this little bit now that this is like the littlest bit damp i'm just gonna like brush it like this it's probably like isn't that good but like it does the fucking job i just brush it this is also it's just easier to slick i like my hair really slick but once you've made sure all the knots at the back are all out now we're gonna go in with slicking to slick hair well you only really need two things that is red gummy wax and a slick brush both from packs any hair shop should have them wax is way better to use than gel because it doesn't make your hair all crispy and dutty and blah, 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 blah. it's like more like that consistency it's actually rank i don't know why i'm playing with it and literally just start slicking in the way you want don't go all the way to the bottom of the hair because like i said you don't really need to that piece is for design and make sure it's all really brushed before you tie it up because once this goes up it ain't coming down something i also do is i now pull out my edges before i tie it up so that when i'm doing my edges i don't have to pull out the hair so i'm just preventing more breakage whenever i do my buns i make sure they're like diagonally on the top of my head because i find the most annoying thing is like when you've done two buns and they're just not symmetrical or they just look fucking weird and then to make my buns i do the ponytail like normal i usually like twist this a little bit leaving the curls that are coming out and i just twist it around i use a little elastic band and i literally while holding that twist do it once do it twice and we've got one perfect bun let's go on to the other side when you tie your hair just try to like hold on to the bottom as well as you can because i remember when i first started doing like my own hair whenever i'd get the slick down but when i'd ever i tie it up it would just automatically get fucked up honestly my only advice is get a good headband sign that grips onto your head for edges you really only need three products got to be spray some mousse and your red gummy i just put it like here and i do my edges like once with this but mousse never holds my edges like for the full, whole day so after this i'm going to go over the red gummy and then i'm going to go over both of that with the got to be good and i use three types of edge brushes ignore how dirty that is like ignore that but um this one the typical one rat tail comb and this one this is kind of my favorite because i like the big jada waiter type edges but first i'm going to use this with the mousse just to mold it do you see what i mean like the mousse just never stays but it's like good to just mold my edges and get a little plan of what i want them to do with your edges you really just want to kind of stick them out and then curve them in so now the base is done i'm getting my red gummy i just kind of like this and this is kind of what will make my edges stay for longer once again just pushing down and flicking up after that i just use a silk headscarf and i fold it into like a triangle shape i kind of use any headscarf for this and i just wrap this around my edges leave it on for like 10 minutes maybe and when i take it off perfection so this is my second hairstyle it's my little two buns. I do it when I'm feeling cute and fun and fresh. This hair gives me very Disney Minnie Mouse. If you're feeling like a cute babe, 
this is the hairstyle for you and it's easy to do with short hair on to the next style the next one is something you've probably seen on my instagram a couple of my photos blow up when i've had this style and everyone always asks me for a tutorial it's pretty basic i'll be honest it is like a bun it basically it's like you know when the white girls do the claw clip hairstyle? This is like our claw clip. This is like the curly short haired babes claw clip. Start off with like the same parting like this. You're gonna like twist it all to the back instead. But like keep that middle parting as much as you can like this. And like a couple bits are gonna stick out and you're gonna put this like mid. Like it's not like a bun bun, you're gonna put it like mid. And literally just keep looking at to keep the middle line quite clear and just separate it and like swirl it together so it's separated and then it comes together again and we're just gonna tie this in the middle this is the bit that's like special i guess do you see how my hair's like this let me turn around for this so this is why i use a big hairband if you go like this you can kind of like see the headband right so here I'm literally just putting a hairband. I'm literally just putting a hairband on top of where my hairband is, like folding my hair in half. It gives like this cute like Y2K, like you know when they had the little spiky hairs up? To make it cuter, I'm just gonna use some curl defining cream to really define those little curls. I think this is one's so cute and like if you just want to look kind of bouge up the average bun this is the way i'm actually going to show you guys again i'm going to use a big head bun this time so literally lift up the ponytail where that bump is there we go and i find like it gives like peacock vibes i don't know i really love this one so next we have the low oh fucking hell wow the low ponytails Ugh. or actually the mids but let's do the mid first and then the lows yeah with these hairstyles you're always going to be starting with a middle parting i do do ponytails and buns and stuff without the middle parting like just going all back but they kind of make my forehead look big and i don't really like doing the edges to them i really prefer just putting a middle parting before because it really just neatens up the look now this is like my day eight hair if i just need to put it in a bun and say fuck off like fuck off for now you're fucking ugly this is what i do it's basically a normal bun i don't really know why i'm giving you guys a tutorial for this one you know might as well help the people i always do like two when it's like this so i'll go over <sighs> And this is just to secure everything. I like looking like a little ballerina doll. You wanna make sure that your edges aren't separated from your hairstyle. And like often this little bit kind of raises up in the middle, Lord knows why. So I take a bobby pin. I always bend my body pins so they suit better to my head. And literally hold that down, pin it. This is like my work do. If you ever see me, and I have this do, I look fucking ugly. I actually hate it. Like, I don't know why I do this so much. This is strange, but with low hairstyles, obviously, because you're dragging your hair down, obviously, I say connect your edge with your hair. So you drag your edge down, but obviously that doesn't look nice. Doing your edges before, like how I did, is honestly the best answer for that. Yeah, I look so bad in this one. I'm literally going to try and make this look nice just for you guys. Like, I actually hate... I used to wear a low ponytail every day for school. Maybe that's why I hate it. I hate low because I feel like it's just so much more fucking work. Like, once again, I'm just going to tie it up again. And this is the low bun. Middle parting. This is really not my shit. But hey, this might be for you. This is like the Jada way to goes. Yeah, let's do side parting now. This one, I'm not feeling. My ears pop out too much for me. Look at me. Look at my ears. Fuck that. <laughs> so now we're gonna do a side parting bun. This was my fucking shit in secondary school. My hair's already in a middle part and you want this to be straight from about the corner of your head. 
you're gonna try make a C so once the pattern looks like that like it goes kind of out more and then it can go back in you're just gonna slick your hair now because I just slicked my hair a good couple times in the opposite direction it's gonna be a bit of a mission for me but it should be a lot easier for you I remember when I used to do this hairstyle I had loads I used to have loads of hair right my mom used to call me helmet head because bitch you know I'm gonna make this hashtag fireworks season you know I'm gonna make this slip I like using a rat tail comb for this because it really makes sure there's no knots in this slip sometimes like when there's knots in it it actually makes me feel actually disgusted in myself People really like this hairstyle on me. I don't know why. I think I look like a chav. I feel so much gel. Like, you need gel for this because otherwise it won't stay. And we're not doing our hair so it comes out in a couple minutes. That's not what you're gonna get from a Libby tutorial. So if you want this line to be super straight, you can just even it out with an edge brush. And then with these edges, you would just brush them out and literally this hairstyle is easy on the edge front because you only have to do one and just push it and then make sure you brush it so it's all neat and then always make sure you brush all that hair back and that is a slick bun my people this is why it looks a bit helmety but you know like it's kind of cute when i have like a full face and makeup like this is kind of giving sleek realness I like this side. I like this side when it looks like this, but like, I don't like this side. <laughs> you don't know how much we used to stick this. Like, if you thought this was a lot of gel, you don't know about Libby in year nine. Wait, no, but this transition about to be the hardest, going from a slicks pointer. Look at that. <laughs> Bro, imagine this when it would be dry. Like, you don't even know. Oh going from a side low ponytail to a bun is one of the hardest things ever i don't know why i decided to do it in this order oh like it just looks wrong it just puts your hair in like unnatural habits but yeah now i'm just literally brushing oh, all my hair up onto the middle of my head nothing special a high bun was my ex's favorite hairstyle for me and when we first started dating i did it like every day just for him and um my friends would say to me like why are you doing that hairstyle so much <laughs> and i'm like oh because he likes it and they'd be like ill they'd be like you literally look gross in it so i got new friends no i'm kidding but um i'm not kidding i'm just gonna loosely tie this here because because we have short hair now, we do need a little bit more gel at the back because baby is short, baby needs to be held and an extreme amount of slicking is needed. But yeah, this hairstyle was my ex's favourite and I banged it out like last year this time. And then he told me he liked me blonde. So then I banged out the blonde wig. It's like fucking hell, Libby, do something for yourself. Sorry. I don't need to start mentioning my ex in a hair tutorial video. Not the subject for now, is it? This one is a bit higher than where we were putting all our other ponies and stuff. Because this is a high bun. So we're going to put that like right on the top of your head. Ponies, I literally kind of just wrap it around and hope it finds itself. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Like... Good enough slay for me now edges i do my edges a bit differently in a bun because like i feel like my forehead is so bare so for this one we finna pull out the forehead hair and this is the beautiful high bun when i want a hairstyle to stay in place i add some mousse especially to the edges oh fuck and this just like holds the style in place and adds the cutest shine 
I'm just gonna let it air dry a little bit and then I'm gonna put the silk headscarf back on. And again, if I want my hair to stay longer, I'll just get the spray. And that combo works magically. Mousse and got to be spray, you're good. But yeah, man, I've just been working, as I said, you know, it all pays off in the end. I'm doing something kind of secret right now and I don't wanna tell you guys until I've done it, but I'm working quite hard. Um, and I'm quite lonely, but I'm telling myself the harder you work, then you won't have time to think about loneliness because you don't have any time. But I don't know if that's really a smart concept. Uh, but yeah, I've always been meaning to do a video like this because I remember when I was like 13 and I used to like do my friend's hair and start a YouTube channel to show people how to do shit like this. But I realized that's not really my thing anymore. Like I like talking to you guys, but obviously a little tutorial here and there never hurt anyone. Oh, pro tip. If you want your hair to stay even longer, when the headscarf is on, use a hairdryer and this like will like melt it into place. For now, that is our high bun. The back's looking a tad bit messy. On a normal day, just use some bobby pins. Da -da -da -da. If you're wondering, my top is from Oh Mighty. Also, I finished my shoe wall. Per. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this content, comment down below. Let me know. I love you guys. See you next week.